today's morning minute. Kingdom living identity, identity in Christ. Does your behavior determine your identity? No, 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 no. This is the lie from the accuser of the brethren, the devil. Your behavior and performance did not create you. Neither does your behavior determine your identity. This is a lie from the accuser of the brethren, the devil, which makes mankind focus on behavior. Your identity is determined by a person, either Adam or the finished work of Jesus Christ. Does your sin make you a sinner? You're a sinner because of the person Adam. You've been redeemed, restored, justified, made righteous, saved, healed, and made complete by the finished work of the person Jesus Christ on the cross. Look what you did is the, is the accusation from the accuser of the brethren. He stands before the heavenly courts of God accusing mankind of his wicked deeds and sinful behavior. You deserve punishment is what the accuser in the heavenly court says. The accuser brings to remembrance all the items of your wrongdoing from the past. He accuses you and all mankind of your behavior. Look at what you did. You deserve to be punished. You're guilty. This causes you to live in guilt, shame, fear, and condemnation. However, your advocate, your advocate in court is Jesus Christ. He is your defense attorney. He stands up in court and admits that all these behaviors and actions the accused did commit. However, however, I, Jesus Christ, the advocate, have paid and taken the penalty for these actions and even the future actions for the accused. It is up to the judge to rule. All the evidence is presented to the judge by the accuser of the brethren, the, the, the pr pr prosecuting attorney, and the great high priest and advocate, Jesus Christ, defense attorney. The verdict is finally read, and a declaration of judgment is made by God, the judge. The verdict, the verdict is not guilty because Jesus Christ made the payment. All records will be expunged and removed as, as if nothing had ever happened. The declaration of judgment reads that because of the penalty being paid by the blood, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross, there is no guilt, shame, condemnation, fear, or worry of your wrong. You will never again go to trial. The case is totally dismissed forever. Your new, your new identity is the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 2, 21. God made him, him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen.